So we gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And so good morning. Good morning, Father. So the um, uh, so today uh, we're offering the mass for um, Bobby Baskin's um, Father Bill, the Elise Lamb, and Femi Aranatha. Um, uh, who are all suffering from cancer at this time. So we pray for uh, their well-being and recovery. And so let us uh, place ourselves and ask the Lord to listen to all the prayers we have in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you are the word that leads to freedom. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the word that gives us new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the word that restores us to holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Father, your love for us surpasses all our hopes and desires. Forgive our failings. Keep us in your peace and lead us to the way of salvation. I will make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am surprised at you. In no time at all, you are deserting the one who called you by the grace of God and are accepting another gospel. Actually, there is no other gospel, but I say this because there are some people who are upsetting you and trying to change the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel that is different from the one we preach to you, may he be condemned to hell. We have said it before, and now I say it again. If anyone preaches to you a gospel that is different from the one you accepted, may he be condemned to hell. Does this sound as if I am trying to win a man's approval? No, indeed. What I want is God's approval. Am I trying to be popular with men? If I were still trying to do so, I would not be a servant of Christ. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, that my gospel I preach is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor did anyone teach it to me. It was Jesus Christ himself who revealed it to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Alleluia. Alleluia. The work of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Amen. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. Alleluia. 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 I give you a commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.
And the Lord be with you. And, with you. and a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. When a, but a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins, gave them to the innkeeper with the instructions, Take care of him. And if you spend more than what I have given you, I will repay you on my way back. Now, which of these three, in your opinion, was a neighbour uh, to the robber's victim? And the young man answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so the, Jesus asked him, uh, well, what does it say, what is written? And so he, he gives uh, uh, two, th two things. Uh, it's run together here, but it's actually two things. Um, so the first one is the Shema, which is the prayer the Jews every morning, they break the day with. It's the prayer that every Jew says every morning. Shema O Israel. The uh, hear, O Israel. Uh, but for the Jews, hear doesn't mean with your ear, it means with your heart. So, hear, O Israel. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind. The, uh, and then the next one is uh, from Leviticus 19:18. Uh, uh, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, he's combined uh, the two together. And she's well answered. That's a good one. It's uh, <laughs> so the uh, and uh, but the guy who wants to just uh, well he says well who is my neighbour and so the he gives us a parable which is a very familiar parable everybody kind of knows the parable of the good Samaritan and even people who are not into reading the Bible have heard of the parable of the good Samaritan. And so the, uh, and we kind of, uh, it's strange for us at first. So you have the priest, uh, and he comes along at his donkey and looks at the guy, crosses over the other side and goes. And then the Levite. A Levite is a country priest. Uh, so John the Baptist's father was a Levite. And so the country priest, what they, they do, a two-week stint, um, the, uh, uh, at least twice a year. Uh, in the temple, they go up uh, to the temple, and so these the priest and the Levite, they were on their way to the temple. John the father's, um, John the Baptist's father was uh, a Levite, and therefore John the Baptist was a priest, uh, because uh, if your father's a priest, you're a priest automatically, and uh, it was by birth that you became a priest, not uh, not by vocation in those days. And so the, um, so the two of them were on the way to the temple and what they were concerned about was ritual purity because if they touched the guy, uh, it would make them unclean. And it takes about 10 days uh, to, um, uh, to purify yourself. So, uh, so like if they were going up for a two week stint in the temple, they'd only be able to actually do four days. And, uh, 
so and the high priest wouldn't be best pleased with them and and that so it's um and so um and so what they used to do they'd gather all the priests would gather and then they used to draw lots to see who would do what uh in the temple and uh, the story we have about john the baptist father he got the lot to go in and sprinkle the blood on the holy of holies and that's when the angel appeared to him it's uh, uh so the um <clears throat> Uh, so they were they were locked into the ritual purity, and so it's uh, what kind of uh, uh, what distracts us from uh, helping others. What are we locked into that prevents us from helping others? And so, who is my neighbour? And uh, so the parable tells us it's anyone we come across who is in need. Uh, so even if he or she is from a despised uh, community because Jews and Samaritans it was oil and water they absolutely hated each other and yet it was the Samaritan who looked after the Jewish guy the victim and so the uh, so are there any exceptions you know can I exclude anyone you know and you know we might look and say surely God you don't mean this one or that one <laughs> So if you think there's exceptions, go tell them to Jesus and see what he says. <laughs> and so let us pray now. Our response is, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan calls each generation to live the true spirit of Christian love. We pray that we, good learners of Jesus' message, we pray, Lord, Lord hear us. We pray that we will never walk past anyone who is in need. We pray, Lord, Lord hear us. May those who are indifferent to the sufferings of others be touched and converted to true compassion through the parable of the Good Samaritan. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear us. May the Good Samaritan sisters be blessed in their ministry and lead many to the mercy and love of Jesus, the true Good Samaritan. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who are suffering financially because of the pandemic. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those hospitalized by the, vi the virus and the medical staff who takes care of them. We pray. Lord, hear us. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Gracious God, your works are justice and truth. May the, these qualities shape our daily lives. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given in human hands of may, become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name. And let us pray. Father, receive these gifts which our Lord Jesus has asked us to offer in his memory. May our obedient servants bring us to the full <coughs> fullness of your redemption as we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And, and let us lift up our hearts. And, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father in heaven, it is right that we should give you thanks and glory. You are the one God living and true. Through all eternity you live in unapproachable light. 
source of life and goodness, you have created all things to fill your creatures with every blessing and to lead us all to the joyful vision of your light. Countless hosts of angels stand before you to do your will. They look upon your splendor and praise you night and day. United with them in the name of every creature under heaven, we too praise your glory as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, we acknowledge your greatness. All your actions show your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own likeness and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and to rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped us to seek and find you. Again and again, you offered us a covenant and through the prophets taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so loved the world that in the fullness of your time you sent your only Son to be our Saviour. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to those in sorrow, joy. In fulfilment of your will he gave himself up to death, but by rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life, and that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as his first gift to those who believe to complete his work on earth and bring us the fullness of grace. Father, may the Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings. Let them become the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord as we celebrate the great mystery which he left us as an everlasting covenant. He always loved those who are his own in the world, and when the time came for him to be glorified by you, by you, his heavenly Father, he showed the depth of his love while they're at supper. He took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Father, we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption. Recall Christ's death, his descent amongst the dead, his resurrection and ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon the sacrifice which you have given to your church and by your Holy Spirit gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the one body of Christ, a living sacrifice of praise. Lord, remember those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, with bishops and clergy everywhere. Remember those who take part in this offering, those here present, and all your people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Father, in your mercy, grant also to us, your children, to enter into our heavenly inheritance in the company of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with your apostles and saints. Then, in your kingdom, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall sing your glory with every creature through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us everything that is good. And through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now with confidence to the Father as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties, for wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. With the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So, peace, peace, peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, let the Eucharist we share fill us with your life. May the love of Christ which we celebrate here touch our lives and lead us to you. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So when I was about eight years old, my mother came to me one day and says, John, she says, there was two apple pies in the larder. Now there's one. Can you explain? And I said, look, uh, oh, I didn't see the second one. <laughs> so let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.